Hello, it is Wednesday and it is day 35 of 40 Days of 40 Rudiments. Uh, now today we're going to do the drag paradiddle number two. And I did look this up yesterday, there is no number three, I made it up, I lied to you, I'm really sorry about that. But moving on, uh, we're going to do number two. So uh, this is my right hand, this one's my left hand, I'm still in selfie mode. So we're going to start this pattern, it's quite long, so we're going to go through, through this one slowly to start with. We're going to start with an accent on the right hand and then a double on the left, and then a tap on the right, another double on the left, and then a right hand led paradiddle. So right, left, right, right. So when you put all of these together, you will get tap, drag and tap, drag and paradiddle. Now this moves over to the left as well. So exactly the same sticking pattern, just leading with the left hand, tap, drag and tap, drag and paradiddle. And then we're back around to the right hand again. So speaking phonetically over this one helps me remember these uh, longer rudiment patterns. I find it's very, very useful. So that's a piece of advice that I would give you. Uh, if you phonetically speak along, then your hands will follow what your brain is thinking. It, it will follow the instructions a little bit easier that your brain is giving, basically. So we're going to do tap, drag and tap, drag and pa, ra, diddle. Tap, drag and tap, drag and pa, ra, diddle. That's the kind of pattern that we're looking for. Now I'm going to be playing it quite a lot faster than that, of course. I will be at 85 beats per minute for this one. Now, again, I will stress for drag rudiments, it is much easier to speed them up than it is to slow them down. So practice at a slower, more comfortable tempo. Otherwise you will find your double strokes will be too fast for the tempo that you're trying to play at, uh, which is why you should speed up very, very slowly with drags. Uh, they're very difficult rudiments to keep in time. So that's my greatest piece of advice for these practice routines. Practice slower. One, two, three, four. And there we have it, drag paradiddle number two. Now remember, tap, drag and tap, drag and paradiddle. It's the best way to remember this rudiment. So if you learned something today, if you've enjoyed the video, then please do give me a like and subscribe. It goes an awful long way, it really does help me out. And I will see you tomorrow for the beginning of the Ratamacues, which is the final family of rudiments that we'll be covering. We've nearly made it, can't wait. See you then.